What's up DC fam? Today we are doing a follow-up video on the Pace Setter Edition. That was released not too long ago on a handful of Diamond C models and we've been getting a lot of great questions. So today specifically we're covering the MDT, which is a medium duty telescopic dump, the one that's rated at 9890. Great for light commercial, heavy homeowner, you know, really great for a, a half ton or three quarter ton pickup. And so uh, the question, one of the main ones that we're gonna answer is, on the pace setter edition can you upgrade it beyond the pace setter package you know if it comes with say uh, 24 inch sides in the pace setter package can i still go to 32 or 44 the answer is yes so today let's go take a look at one and we will show you exactly what the pace setter entails all right so covering what all the pace setter edition has uh, where, where we're at is out here on the, the yard at the, the dump factory, Diamond C Dump Factory. And so the, all the trailers out here are waiting to be shipped. They've been obviously built, they've been finished, they've been QC inspected, and they are ready to go be loaded on a truck headed to a dealer near you. So we're looking at inventory that is, again, waiting to be shipped. What we have, this one is a pretty good example, pretty uh, standard example of a 12, foot long by 77 wide MDT with the pace setter package. So we'll start at the front. The pace setter package does include a 12K spring loaded drop leg jack, includes a solar panel for attending the battery. So let's talk about solar panel for just a moment. Um, there are, there, the, the myth of a solar panel is that it's gonna keep your battery charged. Say you're dumping this trailer six, eight times a day, pretty hard and you know you're loaded heavy every time you know it ends up running the battery down solar panel yes will be trickle charging that battery during that time but uh you will far you will outpace the solar panel pretty fast as far as how much the pump draws versus how much energy the solar panel puts back the idea of the solar panel is if in between jobs the trailer sits for you know two weeks out in the sun then it is constantly gathering that energy and putting it back in the battery. So uh, just know solar panels are meant to be as a kind of battery tender more than a like a direct feed to keep the battery charged. It, it comes with MDT uh, 110 plug there that is a charger. So if you know the next day you're going to be going back, going back to work and your battery is low, go ahead and plug it in. That'll charge the battery up back and from a dead battery in about six hours charges it right back up. So just a side note but it comes with the solar panel. The pace setter package also comes with the 24 inch tall sides. So the standard side, you can see like that little GST, the standard side is 18 inch like that. So MDT is 24 inch side, gives you a little bit more cubic volume in the bed of the trailer, where if you're hauling mulch, things like that, trash, gives you a little more cubic volume. Also the board bracket with raised front is included in pace setter which if you if you've heard me say in other videos i call it kind of like cheap insurance when you get the board bracket with raised front option because it allows you to load over the side with a bucket and if your bucket hits the board not a big deal if it busts the board you can replace it if you were to hit you know the powder coat with it while powder while the dm coating is very strong it's still no match for a, a big heavy metal bucket and you'd rather not be tearing up your, your powder and having to touch up in those things. So board bracket's a great option, plus it gives you a little more cubic volume, just a little bit more. We raise the front so that the tarp does, you know, evenly go over the top of the board as well. And let's see, there's a 12K jack, solar panel, 24 inch side, raised front board. Oh, also it does come with the slide in ramps in the back, the pace setter package. So it allows you to be able to load a, you know, up to about an 8,000 pound machine in this trailer. Machine, uh, tractor, ATVs, what have you, to be able to load in the, in the trailer. So all of that, those are options that um, were the most popular. So when we put together this, together, this pace setter package, we looked at the data and, and looked at, okay, what, brings the most value to the customer. What is the customer already for the most, you know, the majority, what are they selecting? So we took those options and grouped them together and at a, like a, an extraordinary value, if you will, 
sounds kind of cliche, but that's what it is, is we put all those together in one package, similar to like what you see in the automotive industry when you know, you've got these packages that have you know, the, the best options grouped in them, and then it's a value. If you were to split them all out by themselves, you end up paying more. So that's what we did with the MDT along with those other FMAX series on the, uh, the Pace Setter Edition is that we grouped all those options together and brought them to you at a better value to you so that um, it makes the work that you do more meaningful, right? And it allows you to enter that investment at a lower cost and get more value you know, in your purchase. <clears throat> so you can jump on diamondc.com and build an MDT. Obviously you see some other colors out here. You can do a ton of different other colors. You can go again, you can build it beyond the pace setter. So you can go, this one's 24, you can go to 32, you can go to 44 inch sides. You can go to 10 gauge body versus the 12. We've talked about that in some other videos. You know, we as a company on this class of dump trailer and down, so 9890 dump, the GDT, which is 7,000, GST, which is, uh, is 6,000. We believe the 12 gauge body is, is primo for those. A lot of other manufacturers, they use a 10 gauge, but it's because they ha are already buying that in volume for their big dump trailers. So it actually, yeah, it works fine, but the downside is it robs payload from your lift capacity if you don't actually need it. And in these classes, 98% of the people buying this dump trailer don't need the 10 gauge body. So we run a 12 gauge to give you more payload uh, capacity. So anyways, that's an option you can get. Let's see, what are some other ones? You can get a heavy duty 3 uh, super heavy duty fender. Um, what You can get battery upgrades, tons of different options there where you can make a MDT your own. So jump online, build one out, send it to your dealer for price, or click the build your own, I mean the, uh, the, the find dealer inventory, search dealer inventory, and it'll bring up the MDTs that are closest to you already ready to go. We'll see you on the road. Wait, 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 hold on. So I, I made the cardinal sin boo-boo. I did not go over um, some of the standard features of the MDT and what makes it different from the 47,000 other manufacturers out there that you have an option you know, that, you're, that you're looking at, right? If you're doing your homework, you wanna be well studied on where your money is spent, where your investment is, and so let me explain to you a few of the things that make the MDT different and kind of set it, set it apart that makes the, uh, you know, I was talking about earlier, the work you do more meaningful. Well, a lot of these standard features do just that as well. So we're starting at the front. We're gonna do a quick buzz through to the back. Dimco Easy Latch Coupler, not a standout. I mean, a, a most manufacturers now are running that coupler, but it's worth noteworthy because when you hook up, it's super easy. You can even leave it latched, drop it on. That's why they call it easy latch. You drop it on the ball and it'll automatically latch. So that's pretty cool. The big thing is this three-stage telescopic cylinder. So you see the big dumps, these big gooseneck dumps, and then some of the bumper pulls. The telescopic, we started in like 2016, quickly realized that with it needed some development but it was by far head and shoulders above scissor lift and dual cylinders bar none like that's our opinion and so much so that on the big dumps we have changed all you know changed pretty much like 98 percent of the dumps we build to telescopic only so beauty beautiful thing is the uh, telescopic being out front the the utmost lift capacity you could possibly ask for even though this is a lighter weight dump trailer you still when you get single cylinders or a small scissor under there easy to front load it hard on the dump to make it dump it versus with the cylinder in front you'll never question it you will never question it you need to be respectful of your axles and your payload capacity but it's always going to dump it it's just not not a question you push the button it dumps you don't have to be so so careful with how you place the weight and uh, telescopic is the way to go the other thing to note is the six inch I-beam frame. It's a uniframe, you can see it starts at the front, goes all the way back to the back hinge. We stole that design from the LPT, the big brother. Uh, we, we pioneered, Diamond C did back in 2008-9, uh, the I-beam frame low pro dump. So we integrated that design a couple of years ago into the MDT, GDT, GST dump trailers. Uh, you can see the dump frame actually when it sets down it sets down inside the 
I-beam giving it a ultra low deck height. So very notable is that frame there. You have a little bit of space there where the cylinder is that you could, if you needed to put, uh, well, you see some stuff on the other side, the chain, straps, whatnot. The other main thing to look at is other small dumps, its size. You can't really, see, you can see it a little bit, but the width of the top rail is three inches wide versus the industry standards, two inches. So makes for a much more rigid side. You got the big uprights there, major side support there. You got, of course, 14 gauge tread plate fenders, which is pretty standard. Something notable to point out on the MDT for sure is 6K axles. Everybody in this class is gonna go with a 5,200 pound axle in a 10,000 pound rated trailer. We go with sixes. It was, I mean, it's literally uh, a few dollars different and you get a heavier tube, uh, pretty much runs the same hub. But the cool thing is it is a little bit heavier duty axle because the last thing you wanna do is, is tap a curb loaded and bend a spindle because the tendency with dump trailers we know is for people to overload them. So we, we run 6K axles, still rated on 98.90. 6K axles are, are definitely a plus. You got uh, the three-way tailgate, which we call. So it opens as a spreader gate, drops as a, a um, truck tailgate, opens as barn doors. Pretty much everybody runs a combo gate like that. And then you have the mechanical door hold backs, no chains. So that's a nice feature that uh, most everybody else has either a plunger style or chains, whereas that's a, a lot more user friendly. The last thing I'll point out to note is the central seam design. It's a big thing. We've done that for a long time. Uh, you, when you're looking at other manufacturers, check out how the body is constructed. We talked about the top rail already, wherever my hand is. We talked about the top rail, how wide it is, how big the side supports are check out the seam in the floor. Are the sheets butted together and a weld down the middle or are they overlapped? Chances are they are butted together and there's a weld down the middle. The overlap is so much stronger when you have that, you know, for a two, three, four inch wide span, you have double the sheets and it's stitched. You will never break through that versus on the uh, stitch body or not stitch but the the solid weld body where the joint is all the way the length of the trailer much more susceptible to being broke or torn open i've seen daylight on brand new ones sitting on dealers yards because that's such a long one I mean, 20 minutes long to weld off from front to back like that and so i mean the guy gets tired lady gets tired welding it and it just doesn't i mean it's just not the best design this is definitely a lot stronger and the other thing, the other design people have, they'll have a solid sheet and have welds in each corner. That's a no-no because uh, nature of dump trailers, you're hauling dirt, manure, you know, uh, you, gravel, you name it. You're hauling any of that kind of stuff in there. It gets stuck or stays, you don't rinse it out. And the porosity, any porosity in a weld lets uh, moisture leach in and then starts rust, especially whenever, you know, this gets scratched up. When it's nice and new and it's uh, covered, not as bad, but when it gets scratched up, the ability to let moisture in starts rusting your corners out and you don't want that in, in an investment like that. So definitely central seam, overlap, no seam, no weld in the corners. That's the way you build a dump body that's to last a long time. You can, you can build it other ways, just not gonna last as long. So that's the MDT in a nutshell all backed by a Diamond C's through your warranty on the structure. Components have their individual warranties. Um, again, tons of different options available on MDT. We'll see you on the road.